Good night, all. We shaming all live here. We FIE's Junk New Rush. Tonight is all about the healthcare workers. If you're joining us live on this Zoom, go ahead and share the video. We're going to have some healthcare workers joining us in a few minutes. We're waiting for a few of them to join us. Um, in the meantime, let's uh, do some updates. I know we had quite a, a bit of information um, that was shared uh, by the Prime Minister. And so, um, you know, we want everybody to uh, adhere to what the Prime Minister is saying. Good night, Petra. How are you? Unmute your phone for me, please. Unmute your mic. Okay, Kenny is in. You can hear me now. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Hi, good night. So we are live on Facebook, the FIE's Junk Food Rush. Good night, Dr. Kenny Knowles. How are you? Hey, Charmaine. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you clearly. Hey, hi. How you doing? Welcome to FIE's Junk Food Rush. Salute to the health healthcare workers. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Just waiting for a few more persons to log in. We have quite a few guests that's going to come in. We have Dr. Moxie's coming in now. Okay. And trust me, I don't know how to work Zoom well at all, like I can tell you right now. Sorry, Paulie. Me, Dr. Dr. Nowels. Good night, Dr. Moxie. How are you? He's still connecting, look like. Yeah, he's connecting. How do you see everybody? Hmm? How do you see everybody? Oh, it's, it's right. at the top. Swipe. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Then it's another one. Swipe. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Charmaine, what does FIE stand for? Fix It Enterprises. That's Brendan Blue Roll. That's my yeah. twin. Oh, okay. Twin. Yes. That's some tissue. So Tasha's right. connecting. Dr. Moxie. Welcome, Dr. Moxie. FIE's Junk New Rush in full effect. If you're watching, go ahead and share the video. This week is all, all, all for the healthcare workers. Tasha Corley, how are you? You know, um, it was sort of, uh, as this, this show was, we had a lot of persons on board, but you know, most of the nurses and everybody is on call. And so we've, we've had a lot of persons uh, that were supposed to come on board. Um, unfortunately, you know, they are on call. Oh, they're working tonight, probably. They're working tonight, yeah. Unfortunate. So, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, are you outside? <laughs> yeah, man. I, I buy a friend of mine, they have a little grill. A little grill and think of I say, boss, I got to go. I got to find me a spot. <laughs> no wearing mask or social distancing. Yeah, ain't nobody around me. I have a good, <laughs> I have a good six foot, I have a good six foot parameter. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I ain't okay, for my so, own. Um, we we at uh, the Jungle the World and myself would like to um, congratulate all the here, the, the healthcare workers. And in this kind of time, we know it's been a bit strenuous. Welcome, Dr. Moxie. Can you hear us, Dr. Moxie? I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you so much for <laughs> yeah. your wonderful photo. Oh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm actually at work still, so I had to, I can walk around, um, oh, you know, goodness. with... Uh, right, 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 right. You know, I, so had, I had to put up something. Oh, Lord. To represent. Like said, whatever you have there would, would have been able to, to pick up. Okay, so tonight, folks, is all about the healthcare workers. We wanted to bring persons on um, in the healthcare field who are jumping to us to bring us up to speed. I know the Prime Minister has recently announced uh, a lot of things in Parliament. I think it was yesterday, and we have a lot of new things on board. And one of the things is, I was looking through it, um, the emergency powers are extended through the month of July. The curfew will be amended from 10 to 5. Business hours are allowed to open until 8 p.m. Bahamian citizens and residents can travel for 72 hours and they would be required to provide a negative code yes. COVID-19 result before their quarantine for 14 days. Eating in restaurants will be allowed. The physical distancing required at our key at the vendor stores. 
Okay, spas and gyms and outdoor group exercises may reopen as of July 1st. Public yes, yes, yes. And beaches will be re reopened on New Providence, Paris Island, Grand Bahama, Bimini as of Monday, gathering no greater than five persons. So this is the this is, this is need to apply for uh, funeral services and effective July 1st, taxi drivers services will be in effect, private, private and, and bus service resume with 50% occupancy. Now, to the healthcare workers. Now, I want you all to introduce yourself. Let's begin with Petra, and then we continue on with Kenny, uh, Dr. Moxie, and then Tasha. Go ahead, Petra. All right. Well, Charmaine, it's actually pronounced Petra. Petra, sorry. <laughs> yes, Petra Ferguson. I'm actually a nurse at uh, Sandilands, and I work in geriatrics. Okay. Um, I have been on maternity leave, actually. Wow, okay, congratulations. <laughs> yes, and I just had a baby girl. She's now four weeks, well, one month. Okay, Officially wow. Officially one month on the 25th of this month. Okay. Yes, um, and I recently graduated from UB as well with my bachelor's okay. in um, nursing, so. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Go ahead, Dr. Kenny. Oh, hi. Um, my name is Kenny Knowles. Um, I'm a physician at PMH and um, now in family medicine um, de department at, at PMH. Um, I rush with the Valley Boys. You know, I, I do my thing there. <laughs> yes. Okay, go ahead, Dr. Moxie. All right. Good evening, everybody. I'm, I'm a physician um, an internal medicine and gastroenterology consultant physician. I work at, um, I'm a consultant at PMH, as well as a doctor's hospital and private practice. And I rush with the Saxons. Oh, yeah, Saxon superstars. Oh, boy. Well, you know how that go, right? <laughs> I missed a part where I supposed to say which jungle group I rush with. Yes, ma'am. Well, I, mean, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just rush with... The Genesis Warhawks. I'm a free dancer and I rush with the Genesis Warhawks. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're waiting for Go ahead, Natasha. Well, my name is Latasha Cawley. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I work at Ministry of Health, Department of Public Health and District Nursing. Um, I've been a nurse for 24 years, Ooh, my days so that I can retire and call it quit. Well, with me, I love to dance, so I dance with any and everyone. That's just yes. it. There you have it, folks, from all of our healthcare workers. And again, we salute all the healthcare workers and all of the Junkanoo groups. I know I spoke with a lot of persons in one family. Uh, I spoke to different persons in uh, different groups, but unfortunately, their time has not allowed them to come on tonight. So the most important thing, docs, doctors and nurses, we want to speak to tonight of how the Bahamian public needs to progress now that we're opening up July 1st. Let's speak to that and what should we, what, what guidelines should we go by in terms of masks, in terms of social distancing? Because I know in the States, they just had a lot, a lot, a lot of protests. And I, I feel like, like they can be going to the roof and then we're opening up our gates to them. So that's another thing that we have to look at. So guys, let's let's talk. The how how can we safe distance ourselves? Well, protect ourselves in this time of opening up July first. Mm. Um, I, I guess I could talk. Well, I I think that everybody is. I mean, I, by now, over the past like three or four months, we have been um, pretty much bombarded with information as to what we need to do. Uh, what we should be doing um, in in terms of protecting ourselves, um, I, I I don't I don't think that there's been any um, deficiency in the amount of information out there by now that has been made available, you know, um, things to protect us from you know like um, the the spread of the COVID virus in terms of you know, you know um, we, we 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 all know that it's associated with um, respiratory droplets and uh, you know like in, in terms of sneezing coughing and, and that type of thing. Um, I think um, that, you know, um, the obvious things, first of all, out there in, in terms of hand washing, um, proper sanitization, um, social distancing, 
you know, that has, has been out in the media in every way form, you know, um, so far. Um, and pretty much I, I would think now that um, the lockdowns are be beginning to lighten up a, a lot now. Um, we just have to re remember now more so than before that th those things we need to adhere to, you know, um, and I, I think that's the main thing. Uh, with the com com country opening up now, a lot of people was locked down for a long time. So it's a lot more get togethers. You know, everybody's around each other now. And just getting back to um, some level of normalcy. Uh, we, we can't tend to kind of forget the things that we've been, you know, that, that um, we've been adhering to over the past four months. So we, we just have to have a re renewed effort in, in trying to deal with that stuff. You know, um, I think right now that's probably the biggest thing. Now that we can all come back outside, you know, they, they're allowing us back out, um, you know, the so, so social distancing, wearing the mask, um, proper sanitization, you know, all of us that have, you know, elderly family, you know, the grandmothers, the grandparents, grand aunts, grand uncles, to be more careful around them with them because we, we know how this particular virus affects them or, you know, it. So I, I, th I think that's some of the stuff that we can focus on. Now, in terms of, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure you, you will get to this, Charmaine, um, in terms of, I, I, I don't know what's happening with like summer fests and any type of parades plan coming up or how, how they even gonna begin to approach that. Um, well, I'll let the others speak to uh, what you just speak to just now first. Speak yeah. you want to speak to that. Um, yeah, I wanna agree with uh, Dr. Knowles with regards to us being informed, like, you know, greatly informed. And I wanna commend the prime minister on, you know, everything that he's been doing now he's been <coughs> bombarded negatively <laughs> by the Bahamian public because you know a Hi. lot of people we don't like change <coughs> so this was a huge change for most of us um us in healthcare to me it, it wasn't much of a change for us because we use these apparatus all the time we call them ppe so we use them all the time so it and then we constantly washing our hands constantly wearing masks and and you know we're we're always um, exposed to different things, so it I don't think it was new to us, but other persons it was new to, and so they obviously didn't like the change. But like Dr. Noel said, um, you know us focusing on just remaining wearing the proper mask, wearing the mask, protecting yourselves from you and your family, washing your hands, sanitizing, etc. Um, I noticed like the, the different businesses, a lot of businesses that I've been attending to, that I've been going to, um, their security guards would have the sanitizers at the door. So they sanitize in your hands and they have the signage up saying that no mask, no entry. They're also limiting children or not even allowing children in the establishments as well or babies or whatever the case may be. So my, my daughter's always at home. She's never out with me. The only time she's going to go out is when she's going to go and see the pediatrician. So um, I guess in terms of us adhering to those rules, remaining, um, keeping the social distance, the social distance rule, wearing your PPEs and proper sanitizing, that's all I could say. Dr. Moxley? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think uh, um, Peter and, 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 and Kenny hit the nail on the head. I mean, they... You know, those are the, the hallmarks of how we're going to keep safe and, Correct. and um, you know, and, and we just have to continue doing what we have been doing and we have to keep our guards up. I mean, we're going to be opening up. And so that means that people are going to be traveling. Locals are going to be traveling to Florida. We know Florida is another hot spot outside yes. of New York. Um, and so, you know, Bahamians frequent South Florida, uh, you know, very heavily. And so we got to be uh, keep that on guard. And, and then also we're going to have people coming in the country. And so certainly there's an opportunity for us to um, mix. And, and so therefore we put ourselves at risk. And so even now, it's even more important that we adhere to those 
uh, guidelines of frequent hand washing and wearing your mask, maintaining social distancing, uh, and to see how the dust is going to settle. This is going to be the true test once we open July 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next, Wally. Um, I just want to piggyback on what Petra and Kenny and Dr. Moxie said. Um, I, I was the nurse in charge of the tuberculosis surveillance unit. Mm. If I worked in that area. I just left that area. So the protocol is basically almost, it's the same, mm -hmm. whereby with the, the hygienic needs and hand sanitizing and all of that. Um, what we do teach persons is the cough etiquette. So droplets will come in out of your mouth. It's the same principle with this coronavirus. So they basically have just to follow the protocol, do as they told, and wear their masks. And you and we have um, also with the distancing, you keep your distance. And then you remember, remember now we have elderly persons, our family members, like Annie said. So we have to be cognizant of all of this and be everything works hand in hand and everything goes hand in hand. So we have to follow protocol as established by the health ministry. So it, we won't fall short as to say, we're not doing what we're supposed to do. It's the same basic principle. <laughs> Okay, so let me let me say this. Um, we, we all of this that we are talking about protocols and all this is fine, but here's the problem: what I have been seeing, I've been going passing through the bottoms and passing through these other uh, inner city areas, and absolutely nobody's wearing a mask. Nobody's wearing a mask. Not adhering, not adhering to the guidelines at all, at all. I've been passing. I've just been passing some of these places just to see how persons are actually interacting in the, with, with one another. And it's going to be hard for us as Junkin work because when we sweat, we wipe sweat, we do like this. When we blow the whistle, we blow the whistle and we spit. In. The trumpet, the same thing. Yeah. So it's a lot of droplets that is going to happen if we have Junkin. I, I hear a little birdie telling me, Kenny, that there's absolutely going to be no Junkin this year. That's what the birdie told me. Now, I'm just yeah. waiting for some more clarification on that, but I don't see nowhere where we're going to have junk this year. I feel that we have to be safe. We have to be safe, no matter what, what, what would be. Or everybody want to touch the road, touch the road, touch the road. Either you touch the road and be three feet apart, or you touch the road and be six feet under. That's how I thought it. Right. Yeah, um, um, I, I, I think that a big part of it, too, is the is uh, um, we, that we may not be conscious of is, you know, being locked down for, for such a long time. Uh, you know, and, and it, 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 it probably has a, like some level of, of a psychological effect also, you know, so, you know, um, you need that person to person interaction, I guess, to some level. So, you know, a lot of people, when, when they finally do get the chance to come out, they could be looking for some level of normalcy trying to get, you know, so things like the mask and stuff like that, I, I guess that's something that, you know, that that, that has to be constantly re, um, re, reminded and, and pushed out, out there for, for them to continue to at least try to remember, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and you know, it, it's, a, it's a tough time right now. A lot of jobs lost, a lot, you know, so it's a lot going on. It, it's a whole lot going on. So people just looking for some level of n n normalcy um, also, that could, could could play a big role in it. And then when you look at John Canoe, um, John Canoe was normally seen as as an escape, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, and that's one of the things where I think it's going to be hard for a lot of John Canoe to have to go in, into a season. John Canoe was on Bahamas, I guess, to have to go into a season now where there is a very strong possibility that there is no season. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I don't even know how I can make it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But um, when you look at it like that, that's, I mean, it's, it's real because if we're trying to be serious about this and about, I mean, there's nothing about John Canoe inherently that could, could happen the way we know it while you're trying to adhere to the rules of, to, to avoid COVID. You know, I've heard a few things get below about uh, where, where they talk about um, no whistles because of the respiratory droplets that could come out the whistles. Um, they can have a... Uh, uh, social distancing with the brass 
um, the, the, the people on, on the bleachers could be, you know, a certain space. I mean, that don't even, I mean, it's like, why, why bother if, if that's the extent that we're going to have to go to? Right. So, so some of that stuff to me, now I speak in for myself personally, you know, that takes away from it, uh, takes away from the essence of it. Oh, I think, you know, jungle was something with the spirit of jungle is controlled. Not, you know, when you take these factors out of it and do these things, I don't know what this quasi, I, I don't know what it's going to be that we have left over. And how my, how I see it, I you know, put it on the side. If we can't go all in, to have it like how it's supposed to be, then maybe we may have to look sure. just to some um, to some other things, you know, to try to put in place over the Christmas. I don't know what I could do. In December, roll around mm-hmm. and you know, I understand, <laughs> you know. So um, we, it, it's, it's we, going to be tough. Just, um, <laughs> right. We just see Moraz. Uh, um, introduce yourself for us, please. Good night, everyone. My name is Myra Swatfield again. I am on the choreograph committee in the Valley Ladies International, and I am also a physical therapist by profession. Okay, there you have it. And Myra just joined the conversation. Myra, the conversation that we're talking about that uh, junk food is being held and how COVID-19 is actually going to affect this upcoming season because I, I told him a little birdie told me that there would be no junk canoe this year. Now I remember earlier in the year uh, the minister had, 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 had spoken to uh, junk canoe being in February of next year. Um, which and I don't know if that's going to be representing 2020 junk canoe Boxing Day junk canoe for February or January 1 February. I, I don't know how that's going to work. Mm. How you guys feel about that? Like, like um, Doctor Dole say, if you if you can't go all in, don't go at all because it's not going to be the same. the The whole spirit of junk is the camaraderie, the 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 warmth, the sweat, the loudness, <laughs> the excitement. Like, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. I mean, and if it if it's canceled, cancel it. Don't tell me go into junk canoe with all of these guidelines because I'm not going to follow that. I'm a junk canoe, so I can't yeah. feel it. Just like how Labor Day was canceled. <laughs> Just like how Labor Day was canceled, canceled everything. If then, because we, I can't follow those guidelines in junk canoe. <laughs> but I don't think no junk canoe can follow those guidelines. Yeah, it's not going to work. No. So, so if we, if you, if you want us, if you want to be real with ourselves and we want to, um, you know, maintain safe, just cancel it. I mean, and you know, it's it's disappointing, and that's our reality, and we have to face that. But junk canoe ain't gonna be the same with all those guidelines. You, I, you can't tell me don't sit six feet apart because if I'm not rushing, I sitting in the bleachers along with the other um, compa- um, what you call them? Commentators. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the commentators, right? You sitting on the side. I like, I like arguing with the people who's not rooting oh, for the Lord. Scene. You see what I mean? I like that. That's right. what it is, though. <laughs> yeah, so if it's if it's gonna be cancel, cancel it, man. It, we can't we can't go into Junkanoo with those guys. Yes. I feel the same way as well. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we we uh for 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 um Labor Day, I run a watch party with um with all of the Junkanoo uh videos and everything from previous parade. But this July, we're gonna have something spectacular because we have something FIE Junkanoo Rush is gonna. It's, it is an effect right now where we're going to have unified choreographed dances from all of the groups. And right now we are putting together uh, videos and different stuff they're practicing and stuff. We're going to have unified and we have my res and Natasha here to speak to that. We, we, are, we are producing a video what we're going to be showing for independence with all of the groups unified doing one choreographed step to say like a Junkanoo parade. Yeah. So that's what we have on board from FI Junkanoo, along with all the choreographed dancers from the various groups A and B division. So that's what that's what uh, like the girls say. They just won't feel like they touch in the road, right, Marez? They just won't feel like they touch in the road, and so from right. that, uh, gives them a little, a little, um, a little taste of what what we are all missing. Right, what we all um, are missing. At the same and time, so, you know, it's the new normal. So, um, videos and recording have been have become so very important during this time. Yeah. Very, very important. 
Mm. Well, see, that speaks to what one of my job is in the media because I've been actually doing uh, John Clue for many years. I, I've been the chairman of the John Clue Parade with responsibility for the judging system and the task force and all that. So when I came out of that, I went straight into media. And so I've been doing media from 2015 in terms of taping or not just Boxing Day and New Year's Day Parade, but uh, Labor Day, uh, summer festivals, independence. I've been making sure my archives has all of that. And so that came in very handy on this time that we were off because it allowed a lot of persons to see themselves that we don't know, which jungle woods don't normally get to see because either they go, they on Russian, they're in front of somebody or they're behind somebody. So this is the perfect opportunity to give jungle woods an experience to uh, actually see themselves um, parade. And like we say, uh, with this COVID-19, you know, Dr. Moxie, Dr. Moxie? Yes, go ahead. So speak to that. I mean, how do you feel about that? About which about question? About us I... with the judgment being canceled. Uh, you know, I, I think that... Um... When you look at, you know, you know, all of the different scenarios that are being put out there. Uh, okay, just to give you an example. Um, when they had the Memorial Day weekend in, 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 in South Florida, and they opened up the beaches, within two or three days, they had several thousand new cases. Wow. Yes, yes. Of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, just the last weekend... You know, the president, President Trump had a, a rally. Nine of his staffers and two Secret Service agents contracted COVID-19. We're not sure how many other persons who were in attendance. But these are things that we've been hearing on the news. So if we just take those examples and we try to have a parade where you have persons rushing in close proximity to each other. I mean, we feed off of each other when we're rushing. Yes. yes, yes. You know, and so you're going to be in each other's personal space. There's not going to be a six feet, you know, distancing. Uh, you talk about John Kunoz also feed off of the crowd. Yes. You know, in terms of that's what, you know, gets you performance. And you know, the Saxons is known for performance. So, you know, we. I had to throw that in there. I had to throw that in there. You know, and so they had Russia to you on your run, everything. Yeah, they rush you to pieces. The pieces. Oh boy. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but but you know, at the end of the day, you know, I I, I really don't see a, a possible scenario for us to be able to safely say at this time that we can actually have a parade where we can, you know, be assured that we are going to. To, to, to be able to keep people safe where we're, we're not going to put the country at risk. I mean, we have a small country. Obviously, you know, we were blessed. You know, I'm not even going to say lucky that we yeah. only yeah. had the, the, the amount of cases that we had. And we did not have cases that really, um, to a large extent, um, people presenting needing to have very high level of care because our resources are not the resources that you see in the U.S. in terms of if you were watching the news, you would have heard night after night on CNN, MSN, every news channel, uh, various hospital and healthcare workers uh, pleading with people to stay home, crying about the conditions in the hospital, and the fact that they uh, don't have ventilators, they don't have enough ventilators, they're sharing ventilators, they don't have enough personal protective equipment. And so, um, you know, we were blessed that we were not placed in that um, particular scenario. And so I think, you know, at the end of the day, we have to, you know, continue to do what we need to do. Uh, we need to, you know, remain safe. We need to also recognize that, you know, our economy is built heavily on tourism. And so certainly if we, you know, have the scourge of being a COVID-19 infested country, um, you know, what will that do to persons who want to travel? What is that going to do you know, the hotels are already closed. And so if we end up with a scenario where they just opened or they're opening back up and now 
we have a uh, you know a large um, percentage of people that are actually uh, getting COVID nineteen, you know, and we have to shut down again. And now we have persons out of work for yet another six months. Um, these are you know persons who have you know obviously you know financial responsibilities. They have mortgages. You have some families where both both uh, adults are working in the hotel industry, and so mm-hmm. you know we have to be very mindful of all of the implications and you know it, it's a sacrifice uh, but in the grand scheme of things you know it's a small sacrifice and so I think you know we got to keep our eyes you know on 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 the end result thank you so much that 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 you know I hope a lot of persons that are watching and listening very carefully to what is being said here tonight because everybody is so just so excited to get back out there to normalcy, but I don't think we'll ever really get back to any that normalcy that we've had before. I don't think we we are ever going to get back to that normalcy because we this, they're saying now. I watched um, earlier today. They're saying a vaccine may not be even uh, available until 2021, the end of 2021, and you know all these things that were thrown around the people need to, to, to be careful of doing, you can take those, uh, the oxycodon, whatever he was calling it, uh, the Trump was talking about taking, uh, obviously they're saying that is not good to be taking. Another thing they were throwing out there is that because we live in a climate that has a lot of humility, humidity, sorry, um, that is one of the things that they're saying is killing the virus. Now I know um, New York, like they say, is, is, is ground zero for that. And I I visit New York several times with the tall buildings and all of the air being trapped beneath those buildings. But, you know, they're saying this, this COVID-19 thrives in cold and dump weather. You know, so I, 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 I'm flabbergasted as to what um, is happening there now and for us to have to be opening our borders January one, and and then I saw um, something that said that we'll be taking in people. We will will not be taking in people from Spain and China and um, Italy and all these other places. But yet still, we are opening our borders to the hotspot that is the closest to us, which is Florida and all those other places. So it's still a bit mind-boggling to me. What do you guys think about that? Well, I I I I think that in terms of um, those medications and um, vaccines and already, you know, it's a process for um, those things to come about, like um, clinical trials. Like it, um, those things are not something that, you know, you know, just it, that, you know, it, it, right. It 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 takes some time to to have have them properly vetted, you know, in 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 order to be put out there for public, you know, use or or con- consumption, uh, you know, so. That I, I think you know any type of, of, of stuff like vaccines or anything it's, it's going to take some time, you know, and it, it's it's going to be um, a, a lot longer than we would like, and, you know, um, and you know we would like something that that's quick that'll solve all, all of our problems, but you know it's going to take time. It's, it's no easy quick fix for this whole um, scenario, you know, at all. At least I don't, I don't think so, you know? And I agree with that because us in healthcare, we understand the severity and we understand the process in which, um, you know, these vaccinations would have to be taken. But to the public, they don't understand that. They're ignorant to that. So um, to explain them, explain to them that, well, it's gonna take a process. It's not gonna. It's not gonna happen overnight. It, you still have to wait. Things are not gonna change right away. We're not gonna go into the, you know, a state of normalcy anytime soon. People just don't understand. And you know, I I I get it because a lot of persons aren't working. They have bills. They have families. You know, and you know, the stress levels are gonna rise. But like Dr. Noel say, it's gonna take a while and. And, and like you said, um, Charmaine too, things are not gonna go, they're not gonna go back to normalcy right now. And I don't know if it ever will. Well, I know a lot of persons um, 
me and my sister, we have a bakery that we do. And, you know, we have we have curbside pickup and stuff, stuff like that. And so, you know, a lot of persons, they just come into the car and, and, and come into the door. And I'd be like, excuse me, I think I need you to go back in your car, put on your mask, and let me come to you, please. Don't come to my door. And and they, they I, my sister they say, Sham, you call. I say, call. I ain't call. I ain't trying for nobody to come up in my face, number one. And not practicing what the healthcare officials are saying because it's so easy. You don't know who you you don't know who they be in contact with. Number one, you just know who around you right here. You, and even when we go, we don't know who we be in contact with. That's so we exactly. still have to be careful. We don't know how our neighbors around us are watching us because we have home business. So the neighbors could be saying we have people coming here not practicing. Uh, what all restrictions that are down and, and people are yes. just they're just not understanding and it's sad because a lot of the old people have always say when your head hard yes, you can feel and then we start crying when it happens to us and I think too you know, cocaine bad for you why are you going smoking that's true <laughs> I, it's, correct. It's, it's funny you say that you know Charmaine because when I go into the homes I have to put on, I don't put on all the PPDs because we don't have sufficient um, PPDs because we do district nursing. We go into the homes to do dressings. So I put on the yellow gown, but I also put the hair net over my head as well as I put on the booties on my feet because I don't know I'm what I'm taking into that home and I don't know what I am taking away from that home to go into another home. So you have to be very careful as to what you, as to what you encounter and to. So when I go to one house, everything that I have on that goes in the bin and I and I start over from fresh, putting on all the bagelas again. And then as soon as I reach home, you have to strip. I strip. I go to the wash house, take off all of those things. There's nothing going inside my house. So my shoes and everything is in the wash house. My clothes is in the wash house. Actually, I wash them right away. And then I go inside because I have something inside to put on to go inside. So you don't know what you're bringing home. So you yeah. got to be careful. And you don't know what you're bringing from um, the various houses you enter into. And that's yeah. very, that's, you got to be careful. That's dangerous. Yes. And another thing I've noticed too, even um, uh, before they had started the persons to go to the sports center to collect the national insurance check which I still see happening to all of these um, money trans, different places, right? I pass on East Street there, East Street and Chapel Street up in there. They have like a Western Union or something there. And when I tell you, the people could breathe on the backs of the next foot and you got like 20 people standing there, then 20 people cross the road, Mount Pleasant Yard, on the line, all these people waiting up back to back, just waiting to go in this money place. And, and you know, I, 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 well, I don't know what to say. That's money gram, yeah. Money gram, I, I don't know what to say. Because, you know, okay, you're around your family, right? You're around your family all the time. Sometimes when your family goes, you don't know where you're going. You don't know when you or who you meet either when you go out there. So you still got to be careful sanitizing that because you're still coming home again. Like Tasha said, she's up to strip when she gets, you don't know what you're bringing home to your family. And another thing, thing exactly. is, uh, I mean, a lot of persons don't realize that, yes, it might have symptoms just like the flu, but with COVID, you have persons that may be asymptomatic carriers, so they do not have not one symptom. They look perfectly healthy, and they might be carriers of the disease, and that was, that, I think that's what complicates it even more, because if I have the cold, I'm coughing, I'm sneezing, I have a, I have a temperature, but then you have persons that don't have any of those symptoms to pass it on to you. And you are here not practicing social distancing. And, you know, you might be um, putting yourself at risk. So I think a lot of people are um, skeptical because they think, oh, well, um, you don't look sick or, you know, you're not coughing or sneezing, but you have what they call healthy carriers that it's are passing on to you. But I think that's what happened um, to D.H. Hewley. Um I think about two nights ago, he was doing a uh, performance or something and he fell out. 
he oh, came I heard about that. Stage. And apparently, um, he just followed. And when they took him to the hospital, they were testing him. He discovered that, that he's positive. Mm -hmm. And so he came on and he said he's now going to quarantine himself for the next 14 days because, you know, he didn't even have any symptoms. Good night, Papa. Good night, Papa. <laughs> We know you don't be late, so we, we can excuse you. But, um, you know, and so we have a lot of asymptomatic persons that may be walking around that we don't know. They're not sick. They're not coughing. They're not nothing. But you don't know who up on the back of you or when you out amongst, amongst people. They're not practicing the, safe, the, the social distancing. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people, like we say, it's good that we have a prime minister at this present time who was a, was a doctor, and so oh, he so can cool. really, he knows firsthand what this uh, virus can really do to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, and he locked down. Because mm -hmm. I, I thought we can get locked down again after he being by fish fry. I thought we'd be going down for another, you know, I thought we'd be going down for another dose. That's why I say I commended him because, you know, Although we have been getting all all type of backlash from the Bahamian public, I I I even I had to stop making posts on 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 social media because I was getting so annoyed with persons and why they were getting upset for the prime minister because before he's the prime minister, he's a physician, so yeah, he must know what he's doing. He must know, and that's because they're ignorant. You know, you know, a lot of Bahamians. A lot of people who are not in the healthcare and who understand the severity of this disease, they they they're gonna be upset. And then again, they don't like change. I don't know, but you know they have to adhere to the guidelines and and the rules and and maintain the the safe the the the, the safety protocols and all of that in order for us to not get to the state that other countries are at. Because we don't have the facility to, to to deal with persons if we had a large scale of COVID nineteen cri um, 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 cases, we don't have the facility to house all those people to take care of these people. We'd be doomed. We'd be doomed. So people have to. Papa people have just, to right. Papa just uh, sorry, to sorry, to sorry. Please, sorry. Um, so I, I I do apologize for getting late. I just got in a few minutes ago, so I, I do apologize. Um, Time is quite away from me. Um, I, I know I missed a, <clears throat> a great portion of the show already. Um, so no John can notice yeah? That's all I want to know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the talk. That's so no John, no John can notice yeah. But boy, he missed it after me this morning. Ah, but timely I, I, time, you know, timely time. That again? I say it's a timely time. Um, I I was able to catch um Craig Peterson's funeral, which happened on uh. Saturday pass and you know, rest in peace and um, condolences to the family, Peterson family, Bali boy people. Um, they were able, I don't know if you was able to show the clip or whatever, if anybody saw the clip, they were able to social distance themselves, quote unquote, right, right. for the, the, the post rush. Did anybody see that? Or, or how, how do you guys feel about that? I mean, that's just, just your opinion and, and seeing that particular distance they were trying to keep and still rushing the cycle, whatever the case may be. No, I didn't see this. Didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, I posted. Um, I posted it. Um, it's on. It should be on Sham. It should be on Let's Talk, so you, you can check it yeah, out. Yeah, it's some on Junkin Rush and Let's Talk. Anybody else have the opportunity to see it? No. Um, is it possible to rush with social distancing? You missed that part of the conversation. Too, yeah, right? that's why. Uh, yeah, I I, I do apologize. I do apologize. It. No, it's it impossible. is not possible. It is not possible at all because. I like, like, like um, Dr. Marcy had said too, you feed off of each other's energy and you feed off the crowd's energy. And so, and, 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 and um, Dr. Knowles had said it too, go in it all or nothing. We can't maintain the safety protocol. We can't maintain the, the, the guidelines, the healthcare guidelines in John Canoe. That, that, yeah. that can't happen. I, so, I, I, I agree with you totally because like I said, for the funeral, which happened Saturday, we, they, they rush social, they social distance for the rush, but they were socially together for, for the pre-rush and after rush, everybody was together. So 
You know, it's just like so what's that, that it, it, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I mean it's like I, I notice I notice people drive with social distancing and all now. They got spaces between cars and even spaces for parking cars, but mentally they don't even have the space for they actually are they still come together. realistically. You, you, anybody notice that? Like people leave wow. a space now with their car? <laughs> I noticed it, but I no, guess I know that. I know, I know that. I know about the cars, but but anyway. <laughs> But John Knu, you can't, you can't, you can't maintain the safety protocols and the, and the guidelines for John Knu. So, so, so no, we're not no gonna facial mask, no facial mask, no. If no we mask. can't go in all, all, all one way, we can't go in at all. Cancel okay, us. Okay, then. I, that's, what, that's, that's all I want to know. It's not gonna be the same. Red, how you feel about that? I don't think it's gonna work. I don't, especially the choreograph that thing. We are close at all times. Yeah. Yep. Um, we feed off of the music, we feed off the fun line, we feed off the crowd, and it it will not be possible if we're not able to get close to feed off of each other. To chant, we open our mouth and we shout loud. All yep. kind of coming out, we sweat everything, so it will be very, very hard to um, call and answer. Call, call and answer. answer because choreograph girls call and answer. Who are we? Yeah. Warriors, you know, warriors for life. You got pulse. two them girls there. Pulse, 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 pulse. What you pulse say? What you pulse saying is? What y'all say? I don't know. I clean hands. I forget. Hey, don't worry about it. No, no problem. No problem. I forget. They will. They will let you know. Trust me. After the show, you will know. <laughs> I forget but, punch know, shots, um, Yeah. But, so, so, yeah. but I I saw Kenny, congratulations. I saw the you dancing for the first time. I just have been seeing my mess up. You were carrying on like you can on like a real leopard. Uh, uh, leopard. Yeah, I said, look, look at my boy here. Yeah, and congratulations on you. Can't do this before. The construction you did with the body girls. Voice rush, eh? with those, um, were they were zebras and leopards. That was your work. Oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no. So congratulations. That was that was awesome. Yeah, you know we always try to put our foot down every time we come out. You know. Um, so I think you hear your boy bragging, eh? <laughs> I, I am bragging. Yeah, we, you know, we put our foot down, so you know, we make sure we are right, you know. <laughs> all right, get this, my boy, man. You know, <laughs> you see him all the time. We always, you know, rubbing shoulders in the hospital. So yeah. <laughs> see, see, and that is the thing there. That that's why it is so important. I wanted all of you guys to come on and speak to the Junkanoo specifically to let them know that even though we we hard to touch the road. Our safety and our health come first. Of course, yeah. 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 Let me, let me because we want to be able to rush again. Go ahead, Pop. Um, has the JCNP or any of the relative authorities reached out to any of you guys in particular about? I guess they be dealing with the, with the high ups. Never mind. I take the question back. Never mind. No, no, say the question. No, I just want to know if anybody reached out to you guys for your opinion in terms of you know moving forward. Just, just, oh, just from a John Crew perspective, as opposed to. Um, no, I guess. Like the steering teams in, in different groups. Okay. Like chairmen and stuff like that, etc. Yeah, I'm a small variety. Yeah, but then the chairman still have to have somebody from the healthcare field to respond to the question. Mm. Yeah, that's, 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 but they probably they probably relying on the the what they call the relevant authority, quote unquote, right. for their moving forward. That's that's why I said never mind. But I, it was just just a thought. Yeah. Well, um, like we say, go ahead, Kenny. You want to say something? No, I, 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 I just want to say that I, I, I think it's going to most definitely be. I mean, even, even though we have to, you know, do the best thing in terms of, of trying to prevent, yeah, you know, the spread of COVID, it's going to be hard on 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 a lot of of, of us as junkano was to go into yeah. a season where there's there'll be no junkano. I mean, now. I, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, or th th there will be no junk no as we know it to be. You know. So you know, I guess 
if you had asked me like a year ago um, or told me that there would, would could possibly be no jump through this year, that's something where I, I, I you know, I, I wouldn't think that that could happen more or less, you know, so. That's impossible. Uh, Why? Right? Yeah. And so to be going in, into the season now, be, because it's about that time to start to prepare yeah. and, and start to figure out themes and, and, and how you, 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 you're, you're, you're going to approach Bay Street, the costuming and, and you know, the lineup of the parade, stuff like that. And it's not going to happen. Um, I don't even know how December is going to work out. <laughs> Well, I hear some groups then preparing, man. I hear some groups then way ahead of the game. And I don't know how, you know, that don't make I know. Good. I, 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 I don't know where they can rush the talk. So they must even put they, the, what you call it. They on, get rid of me 21. 21, 21. <laughs> because, you know, if you don't know what's okay, going to happen. Okay, hold on, no. 21 January or, tw or 21 Boxing Day. Whenever it happens. No, it's it's three months in between then and Papa. Come on. Hey, we don't see Charmaine. The whole tricky thing about this whole situation is we don't know when the end is going to come. We don't know. Nobody knows. Know. You know, everybody's talking about vaccine by the end of the year, but no guarantee that will work. The vaccine, no, no, they no, make no, a, a million a doses. That's a false And the vaccine's not going to work. We don't, don't know. we don't know. I, 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 I want to know what's going to happen. Um, Independence, you think we have a little independence? Something, something? No. I mean, not rush, but I mean, just no. you mean the celebration on the I mean, fourth? Are we gonna be locked down? That's what I want to find out. We think we'll be locked yeah, down. We locked down for the whole of July. He said, extend the prime minister. So, said, so, so July 10th, we can be locked down. Yeah, well, we ain't having nothing uh, besides um, the choreographed girls doing their unified video. Look at my face. Well, you know what July 10th means to me? Do you know? <laughs> no. The final couple of days. Charmaine, you were saying something about February 21? Yes, February, uh, the Prime Minister, I mean, um, the Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture had mentioned that we may have some junk canoe, some form of junk canoe, February next year. Well, I mean, if we're not having it in December, February is very close to this, um, to, to February is very close to December, so... <laughs> I you have to excuse me because I, like, I okay. I'm thinking the same thing, and I tried to figure out the difference between a lockdown at ten o'clock and a lockdown at twelve o'clock midnight. Yeah. I mean, COVID yeah. stop at ten. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I just asked it. I just, uh. so, okay, okay. So, 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 the curfew now has extended from nine to ten. But then, still, throughout the week, we still be locked down from 10 o'clock now to 5 o'clock. Weekends open. Uh, bus system start running again with a little more. Uh, they have to social distance. Taxi start running again with a little more social distance. Sean, and the uh, international the Go ahead, Tasha. Peter, what you say with public transportation? I was saying the public transportation situation is going to be interesting because... Mm. Yeah, that's, uh, in, I can't see you social distance in the small, I mean, uh, you know uh, what I mean? Bus. And guess what? Uh, bus fee going from $125 to $2. Y'all get the food? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yes, they they actually, they, they are, they're asking for an increase. I'm not sure if they gave them the increases yet, but they're asking for an increase. Yes. Wow. So it's in, it's, it's being discussed. Yes. Yeah. $2 for adults, uh, I think it's like $1.25 for high school children and 50 cents for for primary wow. school. I mean, primary school. So that they say um, hey, they say only half of the bus can be full so they can be less people so they can be losing money they need to make up for them people were in there you yeah, make money up for them and not trying to kill people well so. more tax on the people well, look they sat in the bus um the the, the bus is, is going to resume right but the hotel bus they stopped that for the hotel yeah. people they yeah. can't cross Paradise Island. So how is that possible? And some, so many, some, so many of them don't have cars. A lot of them don't. Nope. Because I came from um, the hotel too. And one time ago, I didn't have a car, and I have to take the hotel bus. So, and now there's none. Um, I, 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 I have one more quick question, or I guess, uh, I'm not sure it was a question or not. Um, in terms of the parade being next year. Um, do you think that, I mean, outside of the February thing, I, I think it, 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 it might be such a bad idea to have a, like, I'm guessing maybe an independence parade. 
uh, or, or make it independence one time and then, you know, go out um, twice the stakes in terms of prize money and stuff like that, make it, you know, because I always wanted to a longer period to prepare for a parade and just to see what will happen if we have that, an extra time, like what, you know, like a super parade, <laughs> more or less. So the independence, the competition parade, you're saying? Yeah, I mean, um, this 20, 20, 20, that's one, right? to me, and it, it just seemed like it wasn't a bad idea mm -hmm. to have the big parade as the independence parade, you know, almost like a reminder of the quincentennial parade. I guess I was talking to who, 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 who I said that, but it, it might be such a bad idea. If you have to put it off, instead of trying to cram it into eight weeks later, Right. You know, just bring it down and just go all in, all, you know, big shootout. Kenny, out. Kenny, mm -hmm. Kenny you, remember, you remember those rushes in Freeport during the summertime? Yes, sir. Yeah. Boy, junking on heat don't go, bro. Um, yeah, you see, but in Freeport, you, you, you walk that never-ending route. You walk that route, but just keep on going and don't stop. You, you keep on taking it in this bit avenue, and summertime, then it's twice as long. Summertime when you know? junk don't go, bro. But this I, 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 I sorry, anyway. but... It's no, it hot. don't. Even in even times to be too hot, too humid. I don't know that you. I don't know that our um, temperature variations from February thing <laughs> of, it, it makes that much Boy. of a difference, right here, Barbara? I've been outside a little while ago. It's humid. But you don't see me walking all around this place. Hot, <laughs> hot boy. It's very, it's Junkanoo, okay. I, I, I always said this. Junkanoo did never go well with heat, bro. I mean, you it's never. a festival. It's just right. like we get made for the Christmas season. I, 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 I've, I've, I've wrecked my brain over the years trying to figure out how we can do festivals all during the year and all. This. Right. You know, it boils down to just, 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 just the logistics of what we got. Yeah, but festival. I, mean, I, I watch all rush just a lot small distance from a festival. I come to go there. I don't have um, no costume. <laughs> you want. That's no, true. It's just, it just doesn't, it just, I, I, the dynamics just doesn't work with everything and every time. I, 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 I was one of those persons trying to say we need junk every weekend, every day, every week, every, every, every no, minute. No, I'm not one of those persons. It, it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work out that way no more. I, you know yeah. what I mean? And, 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 and I, I, will, I mean, I, will, I mean, this being, this, this time is as an exception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 something. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so. Yeah. Is it, I, is it, I, isn't the next independence like a big celebration or something like that? Or no, next two years from now. And, and we have yeah, a big one coming years. up. I think we are on 4080, 1973 40. to now. What, what is it? 1973, right? Oh, we, we couple years from 50 then. Yeah, we, we yeah, yeah. First going to be 47 this year. 47, 47 okay. So we still, yeah. yeah, we got three, three, years, three more okay. years. Okay. Couple years. Good so idea, though, Kenny, but I, boy, I don't see nobody in a costume in the midsummer time. I, I scared. I, wait, let me say I don't I'm know. You forget how these people rush Labor Day and costume and stuff and all these. Yeah, things. man. Yeah, man. Ain't no costumes like boxing in New Year's Day. <laughs> no, no other parade, other time of the year, it's be like boxing day and New Year's Day. No one's like, I don't care how much people talk, but oh, I bring this night. Mm -mm. Boxing I think, New Year's is the big dance. I think I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it can't people. work now, but I'm just saying in terms of 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 of, of just 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 the heat, man. It just yeah. You yeah, guys, yeah, Kenny, Kenny, you you're, you're professional. What you think about that? You, you I should be asking you and Doctor Moxie and Petra and Myres your opinion on Russian and the heat. Not not me. I know expert. I yeah, the heat. It ain't really the day. I mean, it's it's not like you you say it like we we trying to say Russian in some one p.m. heat. You know, it's still the night after dark. I don't really see the big variation in, in our temperatures here to say a February rush versus a June, July rush. Yeah, it possibly everything, but it ain't that much if it ain't in the middle of the day. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think the opportunity to have a parade where we have that much more time to plan, we should be coming to that parade pretty much flawless. And I, I jump at the opportunity to put blows on them with, with that extra six months, man, you know what I could do? Oh boy. Kenny, uh, Kenny. Kenny, <laughs> Kenny, 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 somebody here. Yeah. Listen, the same thing is this, right? Jogginos will do exactly what Jogginos do. If you are after six night. months, you're going to start planning until six months later. Oh, no, 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 no. Like Dark eye with you. No, 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 no. no. And you got to have to wait for the week before to get ready. <laughs> and at the end of the day, your costume still ain't never finished. I'm literally... Oh, <laughs> I am literally... At my that house. is true. That is true. That Watching is true. the TV. 
Doing those little last touches on my costume. Yeah, and, and if you know you have when I have to drop my glue gun, because I got to yeah. the basic street. And if you know you have an extra two months, you you, you, you can just stop right there and go to bed. Oh, no, 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 no. I must have to the costume. Oh. <laughs> you know, we go, we no, keep adding on. I'm going to go and never finish. No. <laughs> You're always going to add one trick to make it heavier. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord. That's all it is. <laughs> to make it heavier. Yeah. But Dr. Yeah, Noah, so. you don't think our weather in February and January is a little bit cooler than December and July months? I mean, it may, yeah, I, I guess definitely, so. But I mean, it's, it's definitely less humid. Yeah, yeah. let's put the humidity in. Let's factor in the humidity. Sure. That's, that's 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 all. Because it, it's it's a little bit cooler in February. I think February, well, January and February are cooler months. But right. uh, <laughs> July. Let me let me tell you something. Uh, the drunk was to me when like I feel like when um Labor Day and July 10 come, well you know July 10 it's really be rushing in the night. Yeah, that Labor Day red. They just got so much from January one. These fellas is rushed in the middle of Bay Street in the Palm Hot Sun 12 o'clock. And yeah, everyone's like, t -shirt, t -shirt, in t shirt, in t shirt, the, 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 yeah, but that's during the day. I see it as being during the day, you know. So I don't know if, if, if it's the daytime, that's one thing, but after dark, I mean, you have the humidity. I don't, I personally don't, don't think it'll be an issue where they, you know, where it's people passing out and falling out all over the road. But I, you know, that's just me, you know. But, but guess what? Well, Dr. Mossley could attest to it because Dr. Mossley had to, 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 to give his services to this young man who followed right when he's coming to the gate. He was ringing the bells and all of a sudden he dropped right out. Book. Michelle, oh, man, that, wow. that's that. Exactly. That's not, that's not, I, remember that Dr. I remember that all too well. Okay. Yeah. So that was Rummy. Speaking no, no, but then you got to think about, you know, these fellas, when, before they line up and before they hit the road, you know, their uh, their oh. regiments that they do before they rush, just involved, you know, they drinking, they, you know, so ain't everybody trying to, you know, trying to hydrate, you know what I'm saying? Some people oh. hydrate. I want to dehydrate you. <laughs> I, 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 I want you all to speak to that for me. Speak to the, the preparation, what people should do and shouldn't do before for for junk canoe. Because I mean, I, I've seen it all, and you know. So I mean, sorry, can you give people question? some tips? Can you give us, can you give the, the, tip, the audience yes. some tips on, on what they should and shouldn't do before and they I'll, go I'll, on I'll, a base I'll this much. A, a like, lot of the times before we, I mean, we go into junk canoe uh, in the worst state. Because we, we we tired, we in the shock for, for days on. You know that last week when you bottling to get the, the bottle is serious. You the, the type of food you you eating, you know, you, you are at your lowest. Yep. And that's the reason why so, so many people end up sick after the parades. For that two weeks in January, everybody half dead. Because just getting there, you you, you know, so it, it really speaks to what we need to focus on before the parade or leading into the parade, especially at the level of fitness. You know, we you know we're in some pretty bad shape all around, from the diet to the level of activity, no exercise. Um, you know, it, the list is long. <laughs> you know. Um, I wanted to say, um, <laughs> just to piggyback on Dr. Noel's, just like what he said, what guys would normally do before a parade, they drink, they'd have a few cold ones, adult beverages, but little do they know. Alcohol dehydrates the body, so instead of drinking alcohol, drink some water and hydrate your body. Leave the leave the adult beverages for after the parade, after you rush, and celebrate like that. Because you know, just like Doctor Noel said, you're already in the worst shape, physically, mentally, tired, exhausted, right? And so now you're adding alcohol to the body, so you're gonna further dehydrate your system and further exhaust your system. Go right into that. And a lot of persons, their immune system is already compromised. Their whole physical makeup is compromised. And if somebody fall out, that ain't, that ain't just happened. That's probably something that built up over time. Yeah, because yes. one year we had a guy die on Bay Street too. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I've, like I've been lost, Saxons. Yeah. Um, let, let me ask you a question about the, the energy drinks and the sports drinks. The, 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 I don't want to call nobody name, but you all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, what about them? They're not good. I don't drink them. 
I, I, honestly, I felt my heart racing when I drank one of them before. I literally felt that. And I say, I can't fool with this. But people drink them and they're, they're really not good for us. I don't fool with them. Anybody else? I mean, in terms of preparation for the parade, in terms of what we should and shouldn't do, or any tips? Well, the thing about it is, probably battling is almost a part of jungle youth, and, and that within itself is not a very good thing because you sleep deprived, um, your body will not function as well as it would if you had a good amount of hours of sleep. But then again, like Dr. Markley say, what is junk you new? Never, you never feel like that cost you and finish. You have to add a little thing up right up until the last minute. So the culture of junk new, I think, within itself sometimes is not a good thing. Um, battling to the very last minute, you know, you out um, trash talking when you could be home sleeping that extra couple of minutes before you get to the parade or through the corner, you could lay down and catch a nap before the parade starts. But I think the excitement and the spread of jungle sometimes you you might th lay down and, and think you might get left. So the, the culture within itself sometimes is not healthy. The the, the battling itself is not that's a lot of pressure. That is a lot of pressure on you at the last minute. You you, you think you're getting left, your costume may finish. That's stress. Yep. That is stress. <laughs> Okay, but Ming has a question. He says, do you think the group should run health campaigns for their members as they push their bodies to the limit, sleep deprivation, drinking, not eating, eating properly, etc." That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, um, just like what I was saying, well, Dr. Noah was saying that you, the health, the food that we're eating, the being sleep deprived and, and lack of exercise actually leading up to the parade. Maybe that's something we could implement in some of the groups. Now I know with Genesis, we actually had a, a group called Warfit. So we had like persons we used to work out. We used to pick one day over the weekend, we used to work out. We used to pick different locations and we worked out. But you know, I guess time constraints and persons with their busy schedules and everything, we weren't able to keep up with it. But I think they're actually, you know, looking into um starting that back up again and that's actually a good idea to start health campaigns you know teaching us on nutrition um rest um, um, um exercise all that good stuff so i think that's a good idea to implement in the different groups well we in most in in the groups that i rush in they normally have um exercising groups and they teach you what to eat to help you along the way which is good too Mm -hmm. that, that, just have to keep so it up. Which, which, which groups you will you, you organize with? Well, I, I rush with roots, I rush with colors, I rush okay. with Conquest of Christ. So it's many groups. So um and I force that on those as, as on those persons as well. And being so it's, so it's something you implemented then when you go to these different organizations. Yes, I do. Okay, excellent, excellent. I think we need more persons like you to, yeah, to, to, to try and also, get that out there. Say, about the the weight of the costume on, on an average jungle do we think the jungle costume this cost any you know a lot of persons have back problems and all these different things especially those first guys who lift those big costumes you know how does that affect them but i mean in charming you would know how much you could tolerate as an individual, because if you, I mean, and like, I don't think that's very smart to put something heavy on you. Petra, you know? Petra, Petra, I, I've been in situations in my job in the career where they build you a costume based on your ability to pace the costume. And then when you reach on Bay Street, it's a different ball game altogether. To be quite honest, Papa, I don't care what they, what they build for me. If I say I can't carry it, I'm not carrying it. And that's, that's true. true. That, that, that's, that's very true. Petra, you're right. Because look at me. Right. You absolutely, you're absolutely right, with that. right. I had a back surgery Wait, and superhuman. And I do not put anything heavy on my back. Oh my my back, doctor tell me, I must say, I no, that's a no well, no. At the end of the day, Junkanoo was what you you go into that big parade, that one big parade, or you go to both parades. After that, you have to rest the rest of your life ahead. Yes, you. you have 360 you have, you, have the rest of, you have the rest of your life ahead of you. So why would you 
you know, if the, if you have a builder who's building your stuff, I don't care what they say. If it's but true. they have a lot of junk loads and suffer injuries too on these parades. Yes. And if a you lot. injure your back, you That's... can injure you can injure your back long term and never be able to rush again. You know, so if it's too large, don't accept it. It's, it's as simple as that. If you know you have back problems, no. Well, you know, Kenny, 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 how you well, feel about that? There's a question asked about the, the size and the weight of costumes. And well, a, what, it is, well, what, what should happen, right, um, <laughs> is as you build a costume, what a lot of people in Jungle tend not to do for whatever reason, I think it makes oh. no sense. They yeah, don't... Um, they don't try the costume on. You fit your costume every step of the costume construction. You fit your costume to make sure it, it, it first of all, you know, how it feels as you are, you know, and so you know what you're getting into as you get into it. And right. if it's, it should never be too heavy, you know, but a lot of the times the costume are built, sometimes these guys put the costume together for the first time, right? like a day or the day of the parade or a day before the parade. Sometimes they try and the costume on for the first time the day of the parade and then they wonder what's going on um and then in terms of the the finished product on the costume the, the decorations the stuff like that they go crazy and they don't realize how much weight that adds to the costume so oh, the, the, the biggest thing is as your costume is constructed you have to be around a lot of people don't want to be in the shack you know you, you know this microwave junk you know you have to be in the shack so you can know what's going on with your costume it shouldn't be a surprise okay right. how much a pound of feathers weight you see so you, you should know what's going on with your costume before you line up on Bay Street. You should know what's going on with your costume weeks before the parade in terms of weight. Weight yeah. should never be a surprise. Right. You see? Unless so, you find, well, unless you well, find out a, a thousand pounds of decorations on the last day. Right. Well, you know, so, mm -hmm. well, so, some builders do that because some, some, some builders think that choreographed section should be carrying jumpers when we are performers and then you can't perform in the costume. They don't yeah. think. And mm -hmm. then you invite them to come and watch you perform. And they say, oh, you can carry this, but they still don't, they don't take that opportunity to come and dance with you. They watching you, but they expect you to carry a costume because in their mind, they figure as so though the dance, what you're doing, the costume, you can do it in this costume. It don't work like that all the time. So, so the, 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 the choreograph, the um, choreograph people and the costume builders should always be in communication. From, from inception, from, from when you decide yeah. on the design, you, you have to okay. let them know what's going on so that they need to know what they bring in. They need to know how what's coming so that they could do their choreography around it so that they can know what they're working with. So, you know, it, it's directly proportional. So these things, you know, you have to have communication between the people carrying it and the people and the person that designed it and, and built, built the costume. That, it only makes sense. This is the same jungle back in the day now. We, we be trying to go forward. So you want the best of both worlds, and and so that, that, that those things shouldn't be issues no more, you know. Well, that's easily said. Yep. Moving forward, Kenny, uh, where you where, where you think John Canoe is going next 10, 15? I always ask this question a lot. People, yeah, you know, I don't know if you want to ask me that, boy, because you know I yeah, just, we you always you always out there, so I, I that's why I really want to ask you. <laughs> you know, I mean, well, I only can speak. I you know. I, I uh, honestly, I, I don't like the direction it's headed in. Um, costume wise, I don't like it. I don't like it. You know, um, I, I think we're getting away from things that that making it that that makes it ours. Um, and that's one of the biggest things. You know, that, you know. I think you know. I heard things someone like say things like what? When you get away from like things like pasting, the ability to color, the ability to fringe paper and stuff like that, you can't lose those things. Um, from the you know from the chunking process, you can't get away from that. See things like feather, feathers and all of the trims and stuff like that. What enhances a costume? That's good, but that those things are not um, specific to us. We only have one thing in in, in the realm of costuming that is specific to chunking, and and you know that's the the paper and the way that we color. You know you can't go nowhere else and find them pasting and fringing paper. So we can't never let that get away. We can't, you know, you know, we can need to step the game up. We could use um, materials and stuff to, to benefit movement and, and, and making the costumes easy to carry in structure. But when it comes to that, that crepe paper and that color and stuff like that, we, we can't let those little things go 
because that's the only thing that differentiates us from, you know, when you talk about feathers and stuff, you know, we'll never be able to out the, the the Brazilians and the Trini, you know, because that in their culture for hundreds of years, being rainforest, dealing with the birds, you know, and stuff like that. So we could use them, but that isn't what does make it, uh, you know, what makes it ours, you know? So we we getting away from that in terms of the artistry and, and costuming. We, we we you know we, we have bad costuming going on. The the skill in 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 constructing cardboard out the window. Now I know the show isn't on that stuff, but I just saying, you know, no, you have guys. We talk about everything. You, you know, we, the, we can the, bring you back on that one. You don't you know y'all don't want me to win that one. You know because. <laughs> You know, we, we, we ain't doing, we ain't moving forward in costuming like how we should. We was doing better costuming 15 years ago. You, you, you know about parades. You know about parades 10 or 15 years ago where the costumes was, was untouchable, you know? And the skill and when the level of skill with the construction that's dropped because everybody just trying to get the, the quickest, the quick way out. And, and you know, it, and it's starting to show. Um, and then you talk about the judging and the way that the, the parameters, the amount of time that we put into this, they should have equally proportional time in terms of making sure that the parade is, 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 is you know, put together to give the best results. And that's how I feel, you know. Um, and, you know, it's, it's all those things that plays a part. So I could go on and on. So I don't want, want you know, I'll leave it there, you know. <laughs> Well, we know you're the costume man, the guy's a doctor. So we have to hear your five cents. Yeah. Let's get it for a place. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get your five cents to make yeah. sure that we understand um, your direction. Dr. Moxie, um, can you speak to that for us, please? Because we know you have to go. In terms of where you see John Canoe heading in the next five to 10 years. Boy, that's a that's a good question. Um, you know, I I I am not I am not quite sure. I mean, every year, you know, what what I've seen, you know, over the years has been, you know, an evolution of, you know, use of different types of materials and, and stuff to make costumes um, lighter. Um, I think I think. Um, you know, at the end of the day, um, we have to we have to we have to really sit down and 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 I'll ask the question an, a, a, another way and say, you know, as John Canoe sit down and say, where do we want to see John Canoe go? Uh, do we feel as if it's moved um, far to the left or to the right of, you know, what we knew John Canoe? I remember, you know, as a little kid going down to Bay Street uh, to watch. You know, how have we moved too far off from that? Um, very, very good questions. I think, um, you know, in terms of, you know, where it's heading. But I mean, I, I think, you know, there's a constant evolution. I remember before when there was a brass in John Canoe. I think it was Volley Boys, I think, was the ones that introduced brass. No, music makers. Bob Ross is shaking his head. Who was it? No, music makers. We had a, we music had a, makers. We had a, music, that's we had right, a, music we makers. That, yeah, brass. Yeah, and so you know, so you didn't have that, um, you know, back, you know, back in back in the day. So I mean, I, I think that we have to evolve. I think that we have to evolve as John Canoes. Um, How do we do that and still maintain? Uh, um, I guess our cultural identity is the question, and and I and I, I don't have the answer. I can't say that I have the answer for that, but I do think that John Canoe has to evolve, like anything else. I mean. Um, you know, we could all remember when we were kids, there were no cell phones. Now you have a computer in your hand. You can check the internet. You can reply to emails. Uh, and so, I mean, in, in life, there's going to be constant evolution. And so there's not a question as to whether or not we have to evolve. We have to evolve, but it's how do we do it? And, um, uh, and most, most often when with, with evolution of stuff, when things happen, it's, it's, it's in terms of making things a little bit more easier. You know, and John Kuno is a lot of, you know, it's a lot of hard work. You know, it's a lot in terms of putting together costumes when you look at um, the way the things are gonna, and some of that is the fun of it because, you know, you enjoy that time in the shock and hanging out in the camaraderie. Um, but, 
you know, certainly, you know, the, the that's that's a hot topic and, and one that's constantly, I'm sure, uh, debated amongst, you know, uh, John Canoes. I, I'm glad you mentioned that, you know, because, I mean, now that we're in COVID-19, I mean, we can't really do that close-knit socializing anymore. So, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. How, you know what I mean, Doc? It is, and and um, but you know, a part of what Kenny says is, you know, you know, in terms of really getting your costume, you, you know, th this ain't junking on the box. I mean, you got to be in the shop, you got to, you know, put in some of the work, you got to be around. And when you, you know, for for people like uh, Kenny, that that's a builder, you know, he probably has about, you know, I'm exaggerating now, but I mean, you know, you got like hundreds of people at him wanting to build something. And so at the no, end of the no, day, you you would exaggerate. Who's getting, no, you're, you're not exaggerating. You're right. <laughs> who's getting their costume built? It ain't the person who's sitting at home. I can tell you yeah. that. It's the person who in the shark. Because with them looking at him, that putting pressure on him. Pressure. You know, you know? So at the end of the day, if you ain't there, ain't nothing happening for you. Yeah. And yeah. the minute you leave, your costume getting put down because somebody sits down reading on their turn. Hey, you're well, junk you sound like you don't know what junk do. <laughs> So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, a part of that is you got to be in the shock. You got to, you know, put in the work. You got to get your costume and, you know, out and all that stuff. And so, um, but, but, but I, I, I don't, I don't see how, how, you know, I, I can't imagine John Canoe without shocks, you know, and, you know, for, for two reasons, uh, paparazzi in terms of, you know, with, um, you know, this com camaraderie and how, how we could bring a, bring a parade uh, to Bay Street without, there being that you know going in the shop, you have to have that element of going in the shop, and that's what really separates John Kuno from yeah. every other festival because you work on your own costume, it's not like you pick it up and they say, Yeah, let's go exactly. Like, on the you know, you put your own heart, sweat, blood, sweat, and tears into that and money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, my res, Petra, your, your thoughts on, on John Kuno in the future and Tasha, I can't oh. forget Tasha. <laughs> In terms of, um, I guess I can't really speak in terms of costuming, um, even though Kenny and I do work um, real close together, but um, I can speak on choreography and, and going forward. I think um, at, at this point, some things have to be revisited because routines are getting a whole lot more creative. Um, costumes in the choreograph section are, are becoming more artistic. Um, complicated, you know, picking themes where you stick to a character and, and I don't feel like we're getting compensated for the amount of work that we put in. Um, the 5% is coming up, the 5% come the to mind. And, and a lot of money goes into the choreograph section and a lot of people don't, don't realize that. And I feel like um, it, it's not really appreciated. Um, and it's sometimes- Agree, agree, my rest. It can make really make up alone, it. make up alone. Right. <laughs> and the <laughs> way <laughs> the hair, um, the hair alone. The hair, the makeup, the lashes, the everything. I everything. Know, right? um, the undergarment, going, everything. Everything. Going forward, I think um certain categories the parade looking at the artistry of the costuming, um that's Playing a role in portraying the theme, um, the, the choreography itself, the judges that are judging the choreography, you know, how do I know what is um, transition? If I don't know what a transition is, how can I judge what a transition is if it was totally done if I really don't know what it is? So I think um, going forward, a lot of things, a lot of categories need to be business more, something to continue to evolve. Um, in a good in a good way because I mean I can put on jump and jump and I can jump and jump, but that's not jumping who jumping is putting on an actual costume and being able to portray my character through my choreography. So I think that for jumping in in particular the choreograph section to continue to go forward and evolve, they need to revisit something. Um, yes. And my five cents too. And we, we, we practice every day relentlessly. 
going over time, practicing and practicing and practicing and the amount of practice we put in. You know, when we practicing, uh, some of us even lose weight, you know, some persons won't think that they could lose weight. Ma'am, you ain't practicing enough because they ain't gonna be the man and weight. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, some of them in some of the house. What's this now? You gotta watch that. Some of them, them girls will rush you into the ground. They I know, right? I know, know right? Tell me about it. I can call a few, but I can be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, go ahead, uh, Petra. You want to say something? Oh, um. I mean, and I guess I can agree with uh, my res too, because I came from one family choreograph section. And then when Je um, Genesis was formulated, I started um, choreographing with them until I left because time time didn't work with me. But I could agree with in terms of um, revisiting some things um, for the evolution of junk new and choreography and all of that stuff. Um, you know, one thing I noticed too with, with junk new on the whole, with a lot of the different groups, a lot of themes are repeated. So maybe we need to we need to be a little bit more creative with themes in these Junkanu groups. Because I like I always see America and Africa, China, all of that. Brazil, and Man, like I feel like in one, two, three, and yeah. So the ocean, see, ocean, the fish, the Bible. Yes, the, uh, you're always seeing. You're always seeing the Bible. You always see in the Bible. You always see in Africa. You always see in. Um, but what if what if, no, what Petra, if Petra, Petra. I, I I think I think the Bible is such a vast subject now. But I mean, everybody took the same things. Everybody wanted to have uh, Noah's Ark and angels and, and, yeah, angels, angels, and angels always there. Yeah, so it's, keep going the Bible. If you if you decide like if a group decide they want to use the Bible, pick a specific story in the Bible maybe. Yes, yes, and then yeah, yeah. Get yes, the yes. of that. Agreed, agreed, Start agreed. From the banner and go straight into your, your, your whole story in the Bible. That's like the Bible of several stories, multiple stories. So Many stories. You understand? And then why are we always going to Africa? Why are we always talking about Africa? Because, because that's like a, it's like the ocean. It's like, you know, it's like a, it's a beautiful subject. It's just, it's just <laughs> hey. Africa? Hey, Af you easily understood. The animals of Africa. Africa. Really, okay, really this is how I feel. That's how I feel with Africa. Maybe some groups don't execute it as well as they should. Ah, now there you go. Now you may hit a point there. Okay. And there was a specific group. always a very good team. That's I'm, I'm not call no name, but there was a specific group that I was very disappointed in last Junkanoo. Who topic Body was boys. cancer? Oh, and oh, <laughs> it is not well. From a health, from a health yeah. Yeah. perspective, oh, from a health perspective, how <laughs> I, 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 I <laughs> want to see what you better went, stop. Went, but it's juggling on that one, and I have to listen to me. I have a joke. You went from the juggler on that one. So tell me, tell me, tell me why you thought I was actually just about to leave. Like I was looking to see a lot more different types of cancers. Cancers, huge. So you, this, you see this picture in the front here? Which cancer huh? that is? This what picture right here. That's prostate that's blue. blue. Y'all went blue for blue. the color blue. That's what blue. I do. Colon, blue. I'm a gastroenterologist. That's colon cancer. Mm. So, 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 I thought colon cancer was green. No, 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 green. no. See that? Me, see, doc, you gotta know doc, your cancers. Doc, you gotta me, know your colors now. Doc, you gotta know me, your colors. As a novice, <laughs> as a novice, right? I thought the Saxons had a golden opportunity to educate the people about. Yeah, yes, and, yes, and, and I don't think they did. Y'all come with all kind of. And we did. In the end, and y'all come fighting. Y'all come to fight cancer. You see, no, it's no, too no, easy for me. Now. I, 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 I thought you had you had a golden oh, opportunity to really educate the public on, 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 on cancer. I, only only thing you guys did educate us on is the colors. Colors. Is that the ribbons that represent the cancer? That's, that's all you did today. <laughs> I was not well executed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yes, I think we need to focus on like um. More unique themes, different okay. themes, out of the box themes. Please, I, please, I, 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 allow me a second. You see, Give because an um, Give us an example, Petra. Okay, so I was at the parade, right? But I didn't see any organs. 
organ. Anybody organ. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. to me, it was no, but see, those things don't translate well into a pretty into a pretty costume. Oh. You, you you can't have an organ or a liver. Right. And then and, and put some feathers around it. Right. It ain't gonna right. look that. Absolutely. No, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, I'm just talking about body parts then. Body parts. No, Again, no. Those those are, those are that's, very, that's a very tricky theme. That's a very tricky yeah, theme. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a, there's a hard theme to cross you. Let me, let me tell you. No, well with execution. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Let me have a dog. Let me have a dog. The thing about this theme was, first of all, cancer. Cancer is a, you know, you know, so something that deeply affects the uh, the Bahamian society. I mean, that's why you're going to sympathy win. <laughs> no, we didn't get a sympathy win. No, 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 at uh, persons in the community. You can probably think of several persons that would have had um, breast cancer, okay? There are several yeah. persons that would have had um, colon cancer. We talk about the healing aspect of it. We talked about the solemnness of it uh, and really bringing reverence to it and, and causing people to really kind of, um, you know, stop and really understand what cancer has done to us and what it has done to our communities and to our families. That's what it was all about. It wasn't about bringing the gory uh, details of seeing how cancer ravishes the body. People already have personal pain. There were people who had, they were, they were concerned about the theme that we were bringing in that the fact that is it gonna bring back painful memories for them of loved ones that, that would have passed. And so our whole idea was let's bring the solemnness to it. Let's bring the awareness to it but at the mm -hmm. same time, not showing the gory details of it. And I think the Saxons did that excellent. And that's why we end up winning. Of course. <laughs> okay. So, you know, you have to also, when you, thought, when you think about a theme, you have to think about the aspect of the theme that you want to bring. We could have brought, you know, cancer, we could have brought cancer showing you some, you know, graphic images of, you know, that ravishing the body. But you have found That's not my also. idea of execution. That wasn't my idea. Doc, 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 Dr. Moxie, I just want to tell you that's the best explanation I had for your theme ever. So I, I, I applaud you for that. Okay. That's, that's, that's the best I know boy, that's that was, for that He theme. made you feel, he really made you feel <laughs> soft just now. Like you really, we really, like I, I almost want to take back what I said, but I ain't taking it back. No, because what they did really and truly, when you look at the costuming for real, of of that um of that socks and them it was just Roman soldiers with wings, and they had different colors. Now right. you could tell me different, you could try, but I I can prove you wrong all, all day. That's what it was, and I don't mind that because they they gone up there and they perform and they rush and they you they know they, 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 the they, 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 they put it down. But yeah. in terms of costuming and whatnot, that ain't a parade that's easily costumed because it's hard to get pretty. Costume in out of that. If you was to go the route, the saying all the organs, you can't go that route. So, I, you know, I was a little lost in what. what... That 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 is a difficult theme all around. That's just 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 that's that's why people don't touch those type of things. But then again, we want we want more dimension in Junkanoo, and then you go and you do these themes, which require more work and yeah. more research and more um artistry and then you get nothing my res that, exactly and that's what people fail to realize they ask for these things but then they don't want you know what i mean it's, it's, it's easy to say oh we'll choose this or choose better things and then when you're not the persons that have to lay this parade out that have to costume the sections have to come up with free dance and um free dance costumes step downs and all that stuff um you know some some themes just land different and i don't care if a, if a theme comes a million times, it's all how you bring that theme. You did. You can have a, a Africa come every year. I love Africa. But Why? it's how you bring it. It's how you bring the theme. That's what makes a difference. It's easy to say, oh, we need to do some different themes. And then you go pick some theme, some craziness, and you find in the middle of it, you don't, you can't costume that theme. And then everybody started That's looking at you. Like, like who chose this theme? It does. You know what I'm saying? And nobody can relate and, to your theme. If, if to me, Junkanoo is all about simplicity. If a five-year-old cannot identify what you're bringing on base, you lose. You out. You out. You out. Right. Exactly. If you're dealing with the 
mentality of so many different persons on Day Street and how many different persons in, in, in the society in a whole. You keep it simple. Keep and it simple. I think, I think for a long time, we've made jungle too complicated. Yes. It's supposed to tell a story from begin, from the front to the back. Keep it I simple. supposed to be watching a video popping telling me a story. Exactly. Gentlemen, um, ladies, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my exit. Uh, this is a very, um, you know, um, um, spirited discussion that we're having. Yeah, but I'm gonna take my exit. I gotta finish up some stuff, and um, I wish you all a good evening. Uh, and it's been good. Thank you very much, Charmaine, for having me on the show. And, and thank you for being one of the best healthcare workers ever. We applaud you and your time and your effort that you have given to the Bahamian community and citizens at large. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you. Thank you. And all good right, evening, sir. all. All right. Good, good evening. evening. Okay. Good evening. Yeah. yeah so, so, go ahead, Kenny. Yeah, I was saying, you know, I, I always hear people say, oh, we need to come up with more of this and come up with more of that. No problem. Um, you know, come up with it, but then now you have to remember now, you have you, you have to, um, usually you, the theme has to, um, you, you, the, the, the most simple costume in the group uh, or the, whoever, like everybody in the group have to be able to get, understand the theme and put out a good costume. You see, it's a difference when they're just putting out anything, any type, any old costume would they, you know, or whatever to get it to the road, but you want them, you, you, you want of the most, the, the simplest people, to be able to put a, uh, something good, because usually that's the baseline and everything goes up from that point. And a lot of things that we may think, okay, let's try this or try that. When you get to it, it is, is a lot, it is hard. It's hard to, to, to lay that out for every, and to tell a story from beginning to end what is what it's supposed to be. You know, because sometimes you know people bring themes and the themes so, um, so tough to, to costume. Don't so come silent, so mix up. And, and what happened is, it will either become solid or you will have the same symbols from front to back. Yeah. And my colleagues from the Saxons, they, they do that a lot. The same thing, the same thing. We, we, we do it pink, do it blue, do it big, we do it small, and, you know, and no variation. But in, in a way, in a lot of ways, that, that, could, that could be a good thing. But I'm just saying, you know, they, you know, they ain't thinking too hot. You know? Kitty, let's change the memory. <laughs> <laughs> and you, know that's what we're I, you know the prime example that when they bought love. My love, you just, you just walks in, they go on the back. You ain't got to go deep, you know. So that, that you know, we could say that with, with the themes that we bring. And I think uh, one of the things we need to try to change, John Cano, in terms of uh, approach to costume and costume design. Whereas even if we bring back an old theme. When you see it in, in the 2020 version, uh, I mean, a, a version of it, it's something spectacular. That's what it's supposed right. to be. The original version of the team shouldn't be better than the one we're coming back. And that and that's been happening a lot. So that should tell you with, with the state of John Canoe as it is right now. Where well, the one before was better, <laughs> you know? That's how John should be. Ken, right. you said a like, mouthful just now, boy. Outside as well. Now, I must give it to one family, um, Kenny. Yeah. Their level of artistry and, and the artisans that they have in their group is, is propelled and uh, um, in the last five years, as they, they have grown tremendously. I think one family of a, like a, a culture of that, though, is when you think back, uh, like when they had Six Park and all of them dudes and, and, um, and uh, what's his name? Jackson and all that. Yeah. And yeah, and the and Causey and, and, uh, and you know you know what bubbles. they did bubbles bubbles uh, bubbles that's what I think right bubbles bubbles is like what, that, what they yeah. did they that was a revolution in in costume and what they did there now one family ain't nowhere near as good as that now but <clears throat> they come from that they they come they come from that that that, that that's a culture they know so you know it, it always there that's how I feel about it yeah they they they. And uh, what I like about them too, um, in recent years, their themes has been really like out of the box. Nice yeah, yes, of the yeah. box. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shabby, what, what themes are we talking about here? Well, Not the same children's themes they, they run for the last three years. They basically run the same team for the last three years. Really? But the judges can understand. Yeah, I understand that, but what I'm saying is they bought different concepts of it. 
Right. They bought it in different stages of it. It's the same thing, Shaman. Yeah, but they bought <laughs> different you stages. About, but, but. That's what Candy talking about now. When you bring, bring it, a, bring, when you could carry it a little bit higher. They bring this. Disney, then they bring a, they bring a variation of Disney, and they bring something else. It's three years basically. It's a children's teams back to back. Yeah, yeah. yeah who doesn't understand what Disney is? You have to think of themes that you know. Judges, these judges have 0.5 seconds to look at your costume. If they don't get it in that 0.5 seconds, done. Two out. Two <laughs> out. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. hey, and sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah. you don't get 0.5. Because sometimes the judges looking exactly. over here and you go past on the left and they don't see you at all. And let's not even talk about a judge who's been standing up on their feet for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Yeah. If your costume don't draw me in right away. Mm -mm. See, that if the visual impact is not there, then that's you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And that's how something should evolve. It needs to evolve in the creativity and the artistry and the visual impact instead of stop pacing and throwing a bunch of decorations and feathers on there. And that's what Let's it is pretty evolve. much today. Right. Let's yeah. evolve. Yeah, because some of them trees would have been off the shoulder and thing. I don't know where they come from. <laughs> that's a whole next show. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we, we just got to, um, like we say, we have to look for the the one what is the most different, the one what is the most authentic and original. Mm -hmm. You have to look for those things. The one yeah, that carries the construction. <laughs> The back. Yeah. You know, and, you know, for a number of years, I was convinced that the judges used to look for past winners first and then look for everybody else afterwards. Yeah. Why? Because that's what they used to do. <laughs> they look, oh, I want to see Jermaine from last year. I want to see Robert from, I want to see this one from last year. They, they yeah, be but asking. you ain't have the same proper day. Hey, the same hey, 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 hey. They didn't get in their mind. They're looking for certain people. They're not winning, though. I used to rush. That's how it was. Oh, I look for so and so. I look for so and so. You hear them actually saying these things? Yes. But then, Papa Rossi, you have to rely to that because you know that person sets the standard. That's fine. I have no problem with that. But don't bypass. Don't bypass the good costumes before that. I agree. I agree. But then you're looking for a particular individual now. If your costume is still that by that by. The scoring itself needs to be revisited as well because if your costume sets the standard, if if I know paparazzi, I look at paparazzi costume. The minute I look at that costume, it's falling apart and it don't look nicely constructed. I don't turn my head regardless of who you are. Regardless of who you are, that's why construction, um, being able to perform the artistry in the costume should be what is judged. That should be the first thing that is judged. No, well, well, a lot of the times, a lot of times they they seem to, uh, it's, it's about all sorts of other factors other than what you actually looking at and what you're seeing. Because, exactly. you know, a, a lot of times we talk about, oh, the costume is different and out the box. But then the question is, is this a good costume? You know, being okay. different and out the box don't necessarily make it a good, a pretty costume. Okay. And a lot of people just, just do anything to be different. But the costume is garbage is the reason why you know, that's different because a lot of people don't take that route because it's, it's not a, you don't have a good finish. And so you have to be, I be kind of careful when I talk about when people say, you know, out the box and this and that, because it's still, you still need to have a basic level of how to do a good costume. Then you go mm -hmm. into being different and, 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 and whatnot, you let, know, let me and share this with you they buy pasta. Mm -hmm. Let me share this with all of you guys and see one of the things that I, I had mandatory when I was uh, in charge of the judges, their training, that uh, I set uh, the, the place where we were as a trial stage, as a stage. So you were able to see and feel how quickly a costume passes you and for you to be able to judge that within two seconds. Wow, that's, that's something, knew, that's good. Think yeah. about this. If you knew of this, when that coming at you, when I first started judging, before I was in charge, I was a judge. The first year I judged, when the first costume came at me, I saw everything in black and white i couldn't see no color no nothing no nothing this person was coming at me and and, and it passed me so fast i trying to figure out if that's what i was supposed to be looking for and so i made it mandatory when i was in charge that we said simulations they call it, where we allow people to come in and rush past you or also 
um, like how Joe Billy used to be, or one of the other festivals, so you could have a feeling for how it feels, for how quickly these things pass you, because they pass you, and you you trying to figure out what you see or what you're supposed to write within that time. If your mind ain't trained to see certain things, you ain't to see it. And then so, you try so, to figure, we try to wonder how people get to pick all these different costumes or 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 they miss all like five on this side will look good, five on the next side will look good, five in the back they all mix up. How you get a chance to, to pick all these things in that amount of time? And you you don't even say you're doing you only got so much in the zone where you are. Um, sure, I mean, um, so what, what do you think from your experience is the possibility for them to bring in back something like pre prejudging, especially with like I, I agree. And, and step I agree. And let me tell you why I agree. I agree because a costume at a standstill point, yeah. the, the, you can tell more of the, the, the lining, the defining, the pacing, the coloring, the visual impact. You and the design, yeah. that when it stands still. When it moves, then it tells you the mobility of it, the construction of it, and how it carries. I think that what should be left for base food. I think right. the part should be left for prejudging. And I think it should be divided at a certain amount. I think before we have it divided at a certain amount, so so much go for base street and the other half go for carrying and construction and all of that. Yeah, I, I think, I, I think that's something that deserved. I, I, the the because costume was deserved to have that. And, and persons work too hard for their costume to pass in two minutes or five minutes. It has to be judged, and you don't get to see it properly. Mm. Um, sure, and I mean, another I, thing I, with that was with the pre judging, you know, we have to find venues where these costumes can be displayed properly. But even if weather is coming, and we have to factor in all these different things because. Yeah. You won't want the costume to get destroyed. Right? You have to figure out a way to get it to Bay Street. Block it, uh, road blocks and all these other things have to be made to manage these things to get there. Then to manage them when they to move them from there to come to the parade again. So all of these things have to be considered when we think about prejudging. Yeah, you um last thing. Um I I, I just want to say thank you for inviting me on. Um to you know, Vice Man, I have to to run out. On you guys, and I, I, I really so uh, uh, appreciate so speaking to you guys. Right hmm? now, we're gonna close out in another we, minute. We, we appreciate uh, you too, bro. We wrap it up. Papa, right any now. last question? Papa? Me, I, I just want everybody to stay safe, man. You see what I got my hands full right now. Just stay <laughs> safe. COVID 19 <laughs> free. That's just, just, just stay safe, man. You can so do any jump last words, time. You healthcare workers have to say to the junk in the woods in terms of keeping themselves safe. Mm. I, I think paparazzi, you just said it just now, you know, keep on doing what you was doing over the whole time. Everybody know what we need to do to, to stay safe. So let's try to keep it up and try to remember, you know, yes. and just do it like but that. Again, I would like to say thank you for all of you guys taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, come and share with the junk of the world and Bahamian public at large. And we thank you for your on dedicated your commitment to the healthcare system and yeah. the Hamians at large. We thank you so much. I can say thank I can't say thank you enough for all of you for giving of your time to make sure that we, you know, we stay healthy, we stay put and we stay focused. So yes. again I say thank you. Thank okay. you too for allowing us on the show. Not a problem. Right. So you guys later on. Today, and uh, if you yeah. have any, hey, um, Kenny B will definitely have you on again, like Papa say. We're going to have you on again for a different subject. And choreograph uh -huh. girls, I hope you're all busy hard at it, uh, doing your practice. Uh -huh. And I'll be uh -huh. on Thursday at 6.30 uh -huh. for our uh, beginning uh -huh. Saturday. So thank you so much. Thank uh -huh. you, Peter. Uh -huh. Stop by. Okay. Thank you, again. Thank you, Everybody, everybody be safe. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good. Mm. 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 Let's press leave to the bottom. Are you trying to find the screen? Like the right to the bottom, the bottom right. Are you going to find it right now? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, bro. Me, Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, brother. You know how it goes. Yep. All righty. Bye-bye.